yeah hello and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson and uh, today we'll be looking into the factory design pattern which is also a creational design pattern and um, the factory design pattern is used when you are not sure what kind of the object you will be creating or what kind of the object you need at the runtime so let's say if you need a different kind of the object based on the different condition at the runtime then the factory design pattern is more suited so let us go and get started and see practically how we can utilize the uh, factory design pattern so first of all let's go to our creational folder and let me create a new file and let me call it as a fsc or a factory dot the dart file and uh, let's say we have a uh, enum and uh, this enum e n u m enum right and then we'll let's say we have a package or uh, we will call it as a package type and uh, with this package type maybe we will have a silver and maybe we can have a gold and maybe we can have a diamond so let's say we have a three package types silver gold and the diamond and what we need to do is maybe we have a different kind of the uh, let's create a one class and call it as a abstract class and uh, let's call this as a package a ckag package factory so i'll create a package factory class you can give it any name okay so just uh, it should not be a package factory or you you don't have to add a factory at the end but it's a good to know that this is a factory class by just naming as a package factory over here and in the dart we have a factory constructor right so we'll use a factory constructor over here and we'll call it as a package factory over here and here in the constructor we will require a package type so let's say as a package type as a type and uh, based on this type we will be returning a different kind of the object so let's say we will use uh, a switch case over here and the type will be of the type that we are getting and based on this type uh, we will return a different kind of the object so let's say if the type is of the uh, we have a package type dot the if the package type is silver then we are going to return create a different instance object and then we are going to return it and also for the package type silver gold and then maybe we have the another one final one as the diamond right so let's say we have a three package type and uh, by the default maybe you can throw a thr would throw the exception and no package found or something so we have this and then uh, what we will do is currently we don't have any class that we or the any object that we want to create based on the package type so let's say uh, let's go down over here and let's say we have another class over here and abstract class and let's say this class is of the package kckag package and uh, it will implement from the uh, package factory that we have and uh, let's create one uh, function over here let's say of a void and let's create a uh, let's create a function to subscribe so when we have a package we want to subscribe to that particular package so now we have uh, one of the uh, enum which has the value of the silver gold and the diamond and then we have extra class which is a package factory and it has a factory constructor which is of a package factory and it takes a parameter type as a package type and based on this uh, package type that the user type passing we will create a different instance right if the user pass in as a type as a silver then we need to create a silver package if the user pass in the gold then we need to create a gold package from here right and similarly for the diamond 
so let's go and create our package so let's create a class first of all and let's say a silver package and this will uh, extend or we can implement it directly from our package right so we have a package silver package and we need to override the missing method which is a subscribe and uh, here we have the psc k a g e package so here now the user can subscribe to this package and we'll just print out something over here and let's say a uh, user subscribe um, s no it should be s u b s c all right subscribe to silver psca package so we have now a silver package and uh, we need to have uh, another package which is of the uh, silver gold and then we will have uh, one more package which is of the diamond package so let's create a uh, one more package over here that will be of the dia mond diamond package and this we will change the text over here so which is of the golden package you just subscribe to the uh, gold and golden package and then we have our diamo and the diamond package so we'll see i guess that all should be fine so we have a silver package golden package and the diamond package which all implements the package for us so now what we'll do over here is when we are in the uh, package type as a silver we will just return it from here uh, silver package and uh, then i guess i need to uh, return it from here a uh, silver package and then i can just remove the breakpoint and uh, that should be fine right and from here i'll do the same thing i'll return if the user pass in the type as a gold then we'll return a, a gold uh, g o l d gold uh, package right so let's type the gold package and then if the user pass in the diamond package we will uh, return from here uh, diamond package so that should be fine so if you see now uh, we have the uh, three packages currently right and then I will go and create one main function over here. Or let me create a new function over here or a file and call it as a factory FSCTOR factory main. Should be, I guess, it be the main dot the dot file. So once I have that function, let's create a main function from here. And uh, final f1, which is of equals to, let's create a package of the uh, package factory that we have. And here we need to pass in the time. So let's say uh, what we need is a silver, it should be of a package package type dot the silver so let's pass in the silver and then i can use uh, f1 dot i can i guess i need to pass in the type as the package so this will return us now the package so once it has the package what i can do is f1 dot the subscribe to it so if i run this it should print as the uh, user subscribe to the silver package and uh, similarly if i just copy this one and if i have a uh, f2 and if the user pass in the type as the uh, let's say uh, gold and this should be of the f2 and uh, let's have one more and which is of uh, f3 uh, over here f3 uh, and if the pass in as a diamond over here then let's run this one and now you can see subscribe to silver golden and the diamond so in this way what the factory 
this factory the class over here which is abstract class is helping us to create the instance of our silver package golden package and the diamond package so we are not sure at the runtime what type of the package user are is going to pass in so uh, we certainly don't know so uh, we need to create the instance of the object based on the some condition so it may be so you need to check some condition or you just passing some uh, select some uh, field or maybe he select some button or select some condition and then based on that condition you need to create some instance of that some classes so uh, you are not sure what class to create if you know already that what class you need to create or uh, if you know that what is the dependency for that particular things you will have a dependency or you will add it as a dependency so if i know that uh, i need a silver package so i may have a dependency for that and that will be more suitable but here the condition is that you don't know what kind of the class or what kind of the object you are going to create so when you don't know what kind of the object you are going to create or you when you don't know what kind of the object is going to required by the uh, user requirement or then you need to make a use of the factory pattern so this is the uh, simple factory pattern over here we uh, basically don't call it as a pattern this is just a factory class in the uh, dart uh, we can call it just a factory class not a factory pattern but this is you can also call it as a simple pattern of the factory there are other factory pattern like the factory method and abstract factory and we'll be looking into it in our coming up lesson so i hope you got the uh, basic idea about the factory class in the dart and how to create a simple factory pattern so this is a very simple uh, factory pattern uh, it's basically i guess uh, most people don't call this as a pattern but this is the basic thing that we need to understand before we can make use of the uh, factory method and the abstract factory. So let's meet up in the next lecture. Till then, have a great day.